Jeff, everyone remembers where they were when they hit level 10. Yeah. It's just such a momentous part of one's life. Definitely. Uh, I got a cake. Oh, that's nice. It's like a, just like a birthday style. It was a birthday style cake <laughs> for when I hit level 10, yeah. That's good. Um, we need to get a cake here for Yamada-kun, who just reached level 10 here in Dandy Dungeon on the Nintendo Switch. Um, this is from Onion Games, who you might remember from A Million Onion Hotel. Yeah. And uh, Blackbird. Whoa. Blackbird, yes. Yeah. Uh, they have quite a style about their games mm -hmm. uh, that I am quite fond of. They're weird and quirky, and this one's no exception. Um, this is, in a way, almost an auto battler, <laughs> um, but not in the auto chess sense. Uh, so yeah, this is Danny Dungeon. We're playing as Yamada. He was a game developer who hated his dead end job developing like mid basically they're like, yeah, I was developing middleware for some shitty company forever, so yeah. I quit and wanted to start and make my own game. Uh, so this is kind of a game about you making and playing through an RPG. Uh, and there's a lot to do, kind of almost an overwhelming amount to do, but the game itself is fairly simple. So let's just hop in here. I've, this is maybe three or four hours in. Mm -hmm. And this uh, is uh, this came to iOS and yeah. I, I presume Android uh, yeah, prior to, to this, right? Yeah. It has been out, I think it came out in 2012 even. Yeah. Um, but this is them bringing it to Switch, it's $25. Um, I haven't played the mobile version. I assume there's, I, I think they were talking about there being some more stuff in this one. Okay, yeah, um, that seems like a chunk of cash. Cause yeah. Uh, so basically what I'm doing here is drawing a path through this dungeon. I have a time limit up there. Uh, you get a bonus for hitting everything along your path. And so you just kind of go and then you have these items down here that kind of are on a cooldown for however many turns, which is like each time you move a space is a turn. Uh, and at any point you can kind of pop the autumns, and he's just going to kind of automatically go along that path and fight. And so when you kill enemies, they level up. Like this enemy tree. Yeah. Well, he was he was a, like one of those. Oh, oh shit. man. I haven't. Uh, that skull was a skeleton. Ah. Uh, I didn't replace my broken item either. Okay, so the rat bag is an item that'll let you find traps. That is very helpful. Uh, so, each dungeon you can see there in the top left has a certain number of floors. Mm -hmm. And you're being rewarded based on a lot of things. How fast you clear the floors, um, if you get a perfect on every floor, which is when you hit every... Uh, every square, like this. Yeah. Um, oh, God damn it. I should have used the rat bag. This will automatically find any traps. Oh, that was good. Yeah, it's a good thing you did that. <laughs> Um, but my main draw to this game, and we'll probably see a little bit of it after I beat this level, is just kind of the quirkiness and the weird story. There's also a whole like, yeah, like of outside characters. of the dungeon, there's a whole thing going on. Yeah, uh, you're in love with the woman who lives in the apartment across the way, so she's the princess in the in the dungeon that needs rescuing. Um, you've got all sorts of people. Like your old boss is the like mean, you know, sorcerer. Uh, who's running the dungeon. It's actually pretty tough in some ooh, yeah, some of these yeah. to find the full path. You don't lose anything for not doing it. Uh, you will start to lose health if you take too long. That, that's what that timer there is for. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, but you do get, it seems like the gold bonus you get for the for getting a perfect is, is worth it. Oh, totally. Um, and there's a whole shop and upgrade system that I'll, I'll show off where gold is very important. Uh, there's also uh, uh, like tiers of completion, like bronze, silver, gold of each dungeon, based on those criteria that I mentioned before. Okay. I kind of wish. So one one issue I have is I just got this this item here. I don't know exactly what it does, um, and you can't just look at it before you commit mm. to replacing something in your inventory for it. All 
All right. Halfway there. Yeah. Another Sounds umbrella. Oh, you did not, yeah. Don't use your rat bag. Rat bag. I forgot it went off cooldown. Oh. That's awesome. Oh. I moved before I could throw it. I love that I don't have to play video games anymore. Oh yeah, they just play themselves, it's yeah. the best. It's great, I can just kinda... I can probably play like three video games at the same time if I really wanted to not play anything. Oh yeah, if you don't want to play video games, it's never been a better time to not play video games. I, I, that's what I hear. It's crawling with jerks! I wonder if this will do anything. Uh, thanks. I don't know. I don't feel like I'm equipped to fight all those guys. I feel like this is something, and and they make it a point of like saying you're gonna have to revisit certain dungeons when you're stronger. Mm -hmm. You know, do a little bit of grinding. So your your hero is only level four. Uh, yes. Do you, you start at level one every time you run a dungeon, right? Right. So but the, you're, yeah. you're like, Yamada goes up in level. Yeah. You, you have a persistent level that is... Oh. I thought I was already moving. You have a persistent level that uh, will... Um, go up and unlock things like item shops and all that. So he's constantly... The, the metagame of this is you're constantly talking about what things would be good in an RPG, and then you unlock that thing okay. in the game. Yeah. So it's, it's, you know, kind of fourth wall -y in that regard. Uh, before this level, he said, I'm excited to go do the uh, wood level because the woods level always have a nice, soothing, calm soundtrack. Hmm. I don't know if I'd call this calm and soothing, <laughs> but I do like the music in this game. I do like the music a lot. I probably put an hour into this on iOS, and I think I came away from it going like, this is really clever and then never touched it again. Yeah. Uh, and I'm not sure why, really. I, I just, uh, yeah, but... I feel like this is one of those games that's gonna stay installed on my twi on my Switch for uh -huh. a really long time. And I'll, like, every once in a while when I'm bored with whatever main game I'm playing, might scroll yeah. over and pop in for a little while. Stab that tree. I really like Onion Games because it gives a good look into the kind of weird Japanese indie scene that we don't get a lot of yeah. uh, access to. Oh, great. I love a stinky shield. Mm -hmm. I wonder if that's actual code for the yeah. game. <laughs> I bet it's not. Yeah, yeah, anything's possible, but I, I... I have no idea. So yeah, after dungeon, you get this little breakdown. It'll let you know what percent you cleared in perfect. Uh, great toe. Great toe. There's just a yell button later. always at my window. I'm really worried. <laughs> uh, okay. Um. There's a pig in your, there's a pig at your door. Pig in the house. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Wait. Um. Uh-huh. Tell me more about these healthy naturals. <laughs> That's what they say. Yeah. Good God, lady. 
I'm feeling attacked. <laughs> I'm gonna say uh, organics, food, dominatrix lady. Not even the weirdest thing that happened in this game so far. <laughs> That lady just busted into your house with a pig and just whipped the shit out of you. <laughs> yeah, she's not gonna stop until I hit this button. He loves it. He is. Something awakened inside of you, Monica, yeah. this day. Uh, it feels like yesterday I just turned to level 10. What does that mean? You became healthy. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, put some more suck in there. Hell yeah. All right, we got another visitor. Hey, what's up? Did you say, hey, man, what's up? Yeah, definitely. Cool. And sometimes your mom sends you dungeon ideas. Uh, okay, so, uh, play is like those main dungeons. You have special dungeons that you unlock along the way. These are, seem to be optional. Uh, they're a bit harder. Um, equipment. So there you unlock like swords and stuff from dungeons that you can equip. Um, and then, but then there's, you can upgrade them too. Uh, but there's this whole, there's kind of like a um, set bonus system. Oh, okay. So if I have, if I have the delinquent cap and the outfit, I get like the school uniform yeah. and get bonus HP. Um, this one's my standard kind of, you know, just some armor. Mm -hmm. um, I wonder what these new ones do. Hey, hold for detail. Okay. Uh, okay. She looks like too sleepy. Defense is it. Negative, negative five. five. I gotta level that up. So you can, uh, you can upgrade any item, uh, with materials. So I can just go in here. I already have this. And you were like finding wood and rare wood in the dungeons and yeah. stuff, right? Is that kind of... So let's say I want to upgrade this sleepy shield. Uh, all these are just kind of like fodder that you can feed into items. So it'll say like, you know, mm -hmm. it just gives you experience and stuff. And then you can see there on the left, like some of these will be like, use this on an axe for bonus, use this on a hammer for bonus, but you can use them on anything. Uh, and then some weapons require certain items eventually to yeah. unlock and to upgrade. I'm trying to, I wanna upgrade this to max. Uh, how do I execute? Execute. Yeah. There's kind of a lot of I don't know what I'm doing while I yeah. upgrade this, but that's okay because the game is not too difficult. And you can and maybe kind of always go get more materials. Yeah, it's very easy to grind out and very quick, like... Okay. So let's pump the last couple of materials in here. I can like feed in, you know, extras that I have. Oops. Okay, what else we got? Hard beast head. Hard beast head, sure. Some sticks. What gives me the most? The three star stuff is gonna probably. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. There you go. Okay, so now that I've got it to max. Oh, so I need these materials at the bottom to evolve it, and then presumably when I evolve it, it'll be something good. Um, there's the demon ad. Of course. Deep down in this program, you will see Demon Lord Castle. If you yep. think you are the one, come to Demon Lord Castle. Three children of Demon mm -hmm. Lord. 
I am no gorgeous other guardians. Yep. If you get three significant <laughs> objects, you'll have a bright future. Da -di -da -di -da -di. Fairly self explanatory. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then one more thing on here, Broke Quest, or Item Shop, fairly straightforward, you can buy shit. Uh, and then Broke Questers are a way to just kind of you spend gold to make dudes automatically do dungeons for you and gather uh, oh, items. Oh, okay. Uh, let's just hop into the next dungeon here. Oh, this is like Persona. Yeah. Uh, I like my load out there. And that's kind of it. This is the whole game. Yeah. Uh, I could see how this was a phone game. Mm hmm And I think $25 might be a little bit on the steeper side for something like this, but it's kind of like the... the uh, there's got to be a better term for it, but I was almost going to say like the Suda51 tax of I'm going to support this weirdness, even though... It's not like the best video game I've ever played. I like its style like what it's a whole doing. lot. Yeah. I like the writing. I like, I want to support it, you know? Uh, let's get this boomerang action going when we can. I haven't played any other games this year with a lady whipping a pig selling organic foods. Oh, yeah. Uh... I haven't played Outer Wilds yeah, yet. Yeah, you need to check out Outer Wilds, it's definitely... You just gotta land on the right planet. This is just a bunch of ladies with whips. But hurry, you don't have long. Nope. Ah! No! No. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, no, uh, no, no, no. Uh, uh, no. Yeah. Mm. I couldn't do it. I think it would have been up, right, down, right, up through that little channel. Oh, no, that wouldn't have been... Hmm. So yeah, some of these are, are pretty tricky and you have a very limited amount of time. And you get, so you get damaged for each open floor that's left at the end. One HP per open space. Oh. So I took two damage there. And hit B at any time to kind of reset it. What the heck? No! Uh oh. Oh boy. I always feel like I'm seeing what the pattern is just as you're running out of time. Yep. I'm like, ah, you need to go down. <sighs> it might be the case, and I think I just noticed it on this last one, so I'm not gonna hit any button here. Yeah, okay, the timer hasn't started, so you can kind of work it out. Oh, okay. Looks like I'm gonna go this way. Huh. Problem solved. Yeah. Oh god! It's that pig. He's whipped into shape. Taking out his frustrations on me. I missed the gold slime. Hmm. No! <laughs> Just like a gold slime. I crit that tree though. Yeah. That seems like a lot of gold, 500 gold. Yeah, I would, I would love 50 gold. Not fit to take on all these jerks. Mm. Gotta hit and run. That's straight up the dragon 
warrior it's monsters. It's very, it, well, I mean, is the, it, yeah. Dragon Quest. Yeah, it, the logo for the website that you were looking at there is, is totally just the Dragon Quest logo. Okay. It says, Dandy Dungeon. Interesting. Can you do that? I mean, I can't stop him. <laughs> can we do that? Yeah. Okay. Get like a hot dog company logo and edit it to say something else. Something lewd. There you go. These goddamn swines. I feel like the hot topics of the world traded in nothing but stolen That's logos true. for like a decade. Until that kind of, I guess that kind of fell out of favor, huh? That's just not. Well, with the internet and, you know. It just it's, happens it's just a rap, more rapid pace yeah. that everyone just posts it to Twitter and doesn't bother making merchandise with the fake logos on it. And everyone's got Photoshop now. Any, any Yahoo can yeah. make a Yahoo. Oh, those? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Uh. Still a lot of HP. I still. Wow, cool. So you can use items and it doesn't even start ticking your timer down. I feel bad for these pigs. They never asked for this. Yeah. <laughs> You're in, are you, you are the new filthy swine boy. Congratulations. I mean, I've been a filthy swine boy for a long time, but... New to her, I mean... Sure. This seems like, uh... Difficult. Yeah. Medicine broke. Wait, why did it break? Uh, if you, when you use an item too many times, okay. it will just... Wait, how did the pig get a barrier? Jeff, I might not be a high enough this level is, for uh, this fight. This seems, uh, this seems like it's not going to go your way. Uh-oh. Okay, this is, uh, I think, where it's all over for you. Well, luckily there's one more trick up my sleeve that we're going to give a shot. Only I had a rice ball. So you have like these oh, okay. little extra lives. Uh, what? I didn't cheat. You it told me to right do there. it. Right there. Yeah, it's kind of. <laughs> it would have been nice to know. Oh. I All right. Pig. A good level up, you know, and restore some health. That's some. All right. Let's swap this out. This too. Nice. It's crispy and tasty. That's true. Pork is both those things. She's just laughing at you like that lady from Money Puzzle Exchanger. I like this music. This is good boss music. I could use a little bit more of uh, Yamada's vocalization yeah. to the music. I think that's a, a nice, it's a fun thing. I hope I survive to eat this pig. I wake up every morning and say that. Is she using a spell? No. Oh, she's just charging up for a critical hit. Well, I got one more rice yeah, ball. Yeah, you already... And you get these from, like, grinding dungeons. Okay, uh, I wasn't sure that was, like, them. per dungeon. You got that many revives, or... No, yeah, they're persistent.
I would like to see maybe like a bigger inventory. Um, yeah. Like having them work with more items. Bye. Oh. oh, cool. Yeah, you got the clock of happiness. Oh, yeah, from defeating the pig dominatrix. Uh huh. So score won't be counted. Does that seem like that's just like a leaderboard thing? Yes. You're still gonna get the benefits. Okay. Yeah, you still get all the items okay. and, and gold. All right then, whatever. And that's a uh, dandy dungeon. Uh, I believe Brave Quest of Yamada mm -hmm. or Yamada's Brave Quest. It's the subtitle there. It's out on Switch and iOS and Android. Um, it's fun. It's, you know, it's a nice little way to to spend some time. I have been doing levels here and there on the train. Mm -hmm. Seems like something you could try out on phones and if you really like it and want a different way to control it, maybe Yeah, the I Switch feel like version controlling or... this is definitely going to be easier on the Switch, like if you're, you know... If yeah, like if drawing you, like, it with your finger on the phone seemed okay. It's, yeah, it's if okay. If I remember right, but... Oh, oh shit. Christ, we gotta go. Oh, All right, we gotta no. Go. Oh, Jesus. All right, Finn Black. Nice. Bye. Oh.